bring in John Hansen. He is a radio host uh, over on WGN Radio right here in Chicago. John, my friend, it's good to see you. Why are we just now talking about this in 2023? Like, we got a lot going on this year. Anybody <laughs> yeah. who thinks this is going to get traction, I feel like, is just so sorely mistaken right about now. Well, I think that obviously the U.S. Open is happening now, and that statistic your colleague just shared of 100,000 tennis balls being used in one tournament is a good starting point to have a sort of conversation about this. Let's make no mistake. No one is coming to get your tennis balls. You should go still be out and playing tennis. I think it's about changing your mindset a little bit in just one small way. Look, this is not going to solve the climate crisis, getting uh, all tennis balls recycled. 330 million of them made every single year certainly is a lot. There's a lot of deforestation concerns with the rubber that goes behind it. But this is just a very small debt in the environmental concerns. But look, us talking about it can certainly spur on some change, but it can also contribute to something people call climate fatigue. We get it all the time when you are so inundated with bad climate news yeah. and so many different sources of climate problems, uh, it can become overwhelming to average Americans. Yeah. Also, how, John, how do we know that it takes 400 years? You know, I don't think we have a 400 year old tennis ball or a 400 year old person sitting there watching it decompose. That seems like a number that a, an eco advocate or, or a group, you know, like this yeah. one might have. There's no come like 4,000 th 4, year long time lapse camera that was invented that long yeah, ago correct. that has been looking at this over years. But I'm going to trust the scientists on this. They know what materials go into it. But yeah, you're right. It seems staggering. And I think you identify a big part of the problem, right? When we throw things away, they end up in a landfill and none of us ever see what the heck happens to it, except for people that study this sort of thing. We're able to literally kind of bury our heads in the sand about these sorts of problems. But I think what can be an interesting thing is, look, obviously, again, we're not going to solve the entire mental, uh, environmental problem by uh, throwing away or reusing our tennis balls. There simply are not enough phytos out out there to play with tennis balls. There's only so many grandmother's walkers that you can put the balls underneath at the bottom to use yeah. or suspend them from your garage to make yes. sure your car doesn't go through the front of the house. But people say, climate uh, activists say, and some scientists back this up about the psychology, that by making just like a small change, if you are a tennis player, that can spurn you on to other environmental changes and just if, if we can compartmentalize certain changes in our life, it can help us overall change things. But it can be fatigue, right? I get it can uh, be grocery fatigue. bags still in this uh, where I live. You know the plastic bags, and there's only so many you can stuff inside of another bag. Yeah, we all have we a all... special drawer for those somewhere somewhere in the kitchen. Uh, but speaking yes. of changes, to your point of changes, I mean we just watched this week uh, the Wimbledon winner for the women, Marquetta, drop out of her doubles match because she said the change in balls were too heavy and she's citing arm soreness because of that. So the players don't love change. It's interesting. I've played tennis most of my whole life. I've never heard this argument before. Is the tennis ball portion of this just a bigger picture conversation for other conversations about creating more sustainable sports equipment? Like, is this happening in other arenas? You know, honestly, I haven't heard about it in baseball stadiums. I don't know. I know that a lot of rubber gets used to make baseball, too. I haven't heard this argument when they go through, what, every single time a ball touches the dirt, they have to replace it in a baseball game. I know I've lost so many golf balls into lakes and forests, and no one's had a conversation about that, too. That doesn't mean we shouldn't have one, though, right? Like, I You think might just that... need a new coach, John. <laughs> <laughs> I need a lot of new things, new clubs, coaches. Free up your weekend swing. Uh, there's a lot that I have lined up. <laughs> okay. Well, John Hansen, thank you for entertaining us this morning. Thank you for your insights. We do appreciate it. Pretty fascinating. Thanks, Marky. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.